So today is <clears throat> chicken processing day. I've only done this once before. Um, took a while last time, you know, doing it for the first time. Hopefully it goes a little better this time. We got the uh, automatic plucker this time, which that was a big part of the pain last time. So that part should definitely be easier. But uh, let me turn you around and show you my setup. So here are the chickens in question. There's five of them. They're meat chickens and they, they grow really fast and they have a hard time walking because they have such big bodies and we really should have processed them a long time ago because it's kind of cruel because they're, they're not built to thrive very long. They're supposed to, you're supposed to process them about at about two months old. And they get too big for their bodies and all that. And their legs can't hardly hold them up. So it's kind of cruel that we kept them along as, as long as we did. We've had them a while. Anyway, here's where I'm going to dispatch them. Put them head in there. Dispatch them. We put them in the cooler there. And we'll come over here. Dip them in this cool water. water. And this is where I'm going to scald them. This needs to be about 150. That's what I'm waiting on. And then here is the brand new plucker. And they're supposed to take all the feathers off. And then we'll move over here to the table where I clean them. But that's the setup. I won't show you any of it. I just like plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do it. So I'm not going to show any of that. But anyway. Just waiting on the water to heat up. And then once that water gets to, I don't know, 140, it needs to be, too, needs to be about 160 to 180. Once it gets to be about 140, I'll probably go ahead and start dispatching them so the water's ready when they're ready. So anyway. So yeah, I processed the chickens earlier today. Um thought I'd do better this time. It's my second time doing it. I thought it would be a, you know, you just get better at it. Uh, I did not. Uh, it still sucks. That defeathering thing, it didn't work as well as I thought. And I think maybe I didn't have the water hot enough. I think it was about 150 degrees when you scald them and then put them in the defeather plucker. But uh, I think next time I'll Heat the water up a little little higher, and I need some better knives. I was really catching hell cutting the uh, cutting the chickens up. I mean, I watched videos of a guy doing it while he's talking to people, it was like it was nothing, like it was cleaning a fish. I mean, it, I did five chickens today, and it took hours. A lot of it was waiting on the water to heat up. Anyway, uh, did it. You I know, mean, that's what we. Really not, still not really comfortable with the uh, life and death stuff. Decide when things die, and but uh, you know that's what we got to do out here. That's what that's why we're doing what we're doing. So uh, I guess I hope I never do really get used to it because you know it's not a small thing. Anyway, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and remember, all good stories start with a seed. Thanks for watching.